What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi S, aka The Jump Rope Coach. We have got Lauren Jumps back in the house again, people. Um, say what's up to people. Hey, you all right? <laughs> she's back, she's back. All right, if you missed the last video, basically Lauren has kindly come down to share some very cool skills. Uh, in the last video, she taught me the running man and some footwork drills, which was very, very tough. Today's gonna be even bigger laugh. I'm telling you, it's gonna be comedy. She's teaching us, or teaching me releases, right? Mm -hmm. You feel confident? Yeah. I don't. I <laughs> feel right. Listen, I've had a few requests on the channel. I don't know about that. <laughs> You're being too kind. I've had a few requests on the channel, people. Um, obviously, releases, freestyle, dance rope, all these kind of new styles are, have been around for a while now, and you guys are requesting it. Unfortunately, I don't do re releases as such. So we've got the best person in the house. I feel right? <laughs> wow. Big compliment. I'm all right. <laughs> You're right. She's good. She's good, right? I've also got my beaded rope out, okay? So um, you know this is a big video and you know she's a boss at this because not many people can get me to get this beaded rope out to do videos. So we're going to try this. Um, remember, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you don't know what's going on, hit the links, grab yourself the most in demand speed ropes, skipping ropes on the planet, hands down. Okay, Lauren, where mm -hmm. do we start? Do you want to share a dem demonstration just so in case people don't know what a release is? Yeah. And hopefully. Oh my God. Nathan, cut, cut. We, we're not going to do this video. I don't think this is gonna... Oh my God. What time is it, man? What time do you say you need to go again? Fuck, that was clean. First time. We don't do no cuts here on Rush Athletic. Do we, Nathan? Not yet. <laughs> All right. That was amazing. Yeah. Got to get you. a spot for that. That was insane. So, All right, where does one start to learn that shit? So I recommend <laughs> starting with a beaded rope. Okay. Which you've got. Got you. And. I mean, you can learn it on a PVC rope, but it's just making it a bit harder for, for yourself with a beaded rope for just to give you a bit more feedback. So it moves through the air slower. A bit more weight, of course, yeah, yeah. A bit more weight, so you can control it more easily and it's not going to kink and tangle as e nice. easily in the air either. So, so my rope, it is easier with releases if you have a shorter rope. Cool. So my rope's very that's, short. That's pretty short. But at the same time, you don't, if you're used to jumping with a longer rope, you don't want to jeopardise things too much because it, you want to be including releases in your usual routine so you don't cool. want to be in a situation where suddenly you can't you can only do a release with one, with rope, one rope and yeah. you can't do it so you kind of it it might you can learn it on a longer rope it's going to make it a bit harder for yourself and it might be harder to move fast with them yeah but probably if you're looking to go d on a journey and learn a release you might want to look at generally shortening your rope for everything and like gradually shortening it over time so would you say your pvc rope is roughly the same size or? yeah my rope is the same all right. size all right cool what's the next step where are so we starting so we're going to start with <laughs> i'm going to try not knock you out by the way just I'll... a bit of <laughs> control to get the loop all right so you want to be doing this you want to be turning the rope in a clockwise direction because yeah. when your rope goes to your side yeah you want it to be moving clockwise, forwards is clockwise. Yep. Unless if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, it's going to be anti-clockwise. Right. Funny enough. What I, are you, you're left-handed. Funny enough, I'm left-handed with but everything. But you think you'll be better on I feel the, like I'm better with my right hand for this one. Okay. Yep. So do whatever you feel is going to be best for this. And All then right. obviously remember, you're going to be letting go and catching with the other hand. Yeah. All right. So, so we're just making what, big you loops? You want to aim for one loop. Whoa. All right, Lauren, so I think... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to step a little bit to the side here, people. <laughs> Nathan, let me know where my boundaries are where I can use So this. it's like you're stirring <laughs> a big cauldron. All right, so I see you've got your arm stretched out here, so let me try yeah, that. Yeah, it's just to get, that's it. Oh and my God. See, you've done well there because you've got one loop, which is what you want. One loop? You don't, I don't even know if I can demonstrate it, but you don't want a situation where you've got oh. two loops like that. So I feel you like, just I feel like when one I'm flicking. Loop. Because when it's at the side of you, it's like, it's like you're skipping rope when it's going around you. Yeah, yeah, I got you. All right, it's, I, that, it's going to be I, like that. I had a little feel there. I had a feel like a bit of rhythm yeah. going on there. I don't so know you if I can get it back feel, now. You should be able to feel. So now go bro. slowly and <laughs> just move cracking. slowly. Yeah, let's start slowly. There you go. Oh, something's going on. I don't know if it's right. And then, if you're comfortable with that, you want to bring it to the side and oh, start. Oh, Lauren, if I get knocked out here, if I get knocked out here, you're not coming back. <laughs> all right, you better move out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go sideways. Now bring your, oh, your Laura, hands towards the side. That's it. Oh, what am I doing here, bro? That's it. That's quite good. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly it was lost too good to be true. You was, did well then. Not you know, that's why we wear sunglasses as well on this channel, Protect people. Protect your eyes. Protect the eyes, man. I had something um, going on there, man. Something felt felt like natural. So that's the first. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to keep practicing that until okay. you're comfortable with it. Yep. Um, then you want to look at the release part. So. Would you say, sorry, just to cut you in, because I'm just yeah. like, might be a stupid question. 
when they've got this loop thing going on, mm -hmm. would you say when you then bring it to the side, yeah. would, you, would you try and catch the rope then or not I, yet? I actually recommend leaving the catch out completely leaving the catch. at this okay. moment. All right. So, because um, I think what happened, the problem is there's, to catch the rope when it's over there, you're not going to, I just whacked myself, but you're not going to catch it when your hand's over there. Well, yeah. it's going to be harder for yourself. Oh, actually, I see, because you're not... The trick with catching it is bringing your hand back to this side. Mm, and okay. because it actually, I mean, you can do it without looking at the rope. And it, you just, because if you bring it back gonna, to the right place. We're not going to try that today for me though, right? Yeah. yeah, but that's <laughs> the idea is that it, you're not actually chasing the catch. You should be moving the rope into a position that the handle comes to your side and you just catch it. Can you show, can we show that look away catch again? <laughs> Right. So um, I'm mesmerised. Thank you, lie. So okay. we're going to start with the release first. So okay. when you to do this, you know, when you go into a, it's actually like when you go into a side swing. If you're going to go into a cross, mm -hmm. it's an open swing, really. Yep. This is if you're doing a tissue box release, which I prefer. Tissue box. <laughs> which is where you <laughs> pluck the rope, the handle up, and throw it. You, it's a throw. It's, it's a, a throw. throw. So you're throwing it. Right. Whereas some people prefer a wrist pop method which is where you actually it touches your wrist like that i feel like i don't i feel like I, don't, I wouldn't like that one even if i wanted to do this i don't I personally like what's like the first it. one called tissue box yeah yeah is that, which, is that is that a feel of pulling the tissue box yes so it's you pluck the it's you know when you, when you pluck a tissue it's yeah. quite a and that's what you, that's the feeling you have with your right hand or with your or your yeah. left hand so it's just like that Obviously so you're I'm, so it's your left, you kind of feel the release with your left and what happens with yeah. your, with your so right hand? Yeah, so this one stays there and as you release the rope, you then want to give it one rotation and we're doing the single rotation, Mick. You can do two, but yeah. we'll teach the, the single. Yeah. And then you rotate this wrist once. It's just one rotation. Cool. All right, do you want to step away? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still think you're too close, but anyway, we'll try. So you're saying side swing? Yeah. Yeah. You can come out. Yeah. I tell you what, if I get this first time, what's the bet then? If I get it. If you get it first time, yeah. then what? It's got to be, no, it... it's got to be something you got to do. What? Yeah, but yeah. I'm trying to help. Then I'll try. I won't want to help you, will I? <laughs> True. The incentive's not right. Really. <laughs> I just wanted to be. I just wanted to impress people, but I don't think. So. I don't think I'm to catch it first time anyway. All right, so we're we're popping it. We're doing some tissue boxing yeah. thing, and we're doing some wrist popping thing. Let me move this. Let me move this. This. I don't want any. You're not any... going that side though. Oh yeah. Why am I thinking I'm going that side? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm hyping myself up. Tissue box, catching it. I'm trying to catch this, yeah? Don't, anywhere well, on the rope. Well, you can do. You don't have to yet. I've, you don't need to worry about the catch yet. Oh, right. It's just, it's just releasing I'll it, I'll just yeah? get releasing it first. All right, cool. Here we go. Three, two. <laughs> that was good. Nah, you have been nice. That was really good. Well, my hand felt like it was up here. Yeah, so that's fine. At least I didn't get hit in the but face. But you've got the rotation. I got so some now, rotation, yeah? Yeah. So now, obviously, in that in that moment, you just left this hand here. Yeah. So you're never going to catch that. Cool. Well, you might have done, but it would have been a flip. Yeah, it felt like a bit... Boopy. Whereas after that rotation, so it's the count is one, two, three. Okay. Is th you catch on one, three. Two. So it's one, release on one, yeah. rotate on two, yeah. catch on three. All right. One, two, three. And nice. you basically, the key is once you've done that rotation, as you're coming out of, as the rope is coming around like this yep. after the rotation, you want to bring it, bring your, bring right, your hand right, right hand down. And to your usual position, I say pocket position, everyone, yeah. but that's for me, wherever your usual jump rope position is, wherever yeah. it would be that your hands need to be to jump the rope. Yeah. All right. I'd go for a toe catch for now. Cause okay, I'm just going to try and catch this again. So, I mean, one, two, three. All right. I'm not going to, yeah, I don't know. Oh. That was good. Nearly. That's good, was right? It? Yeah, it, but you saw I mean, your hands. Shit. You had your my hand you was here, your, and I was like, here. and you stopped that hand there. So if you bring that more to your side, bring it more to the side. It's going to bring the hand, the other handle back. So, so what you're doing there is you're being a bit I'm wide being, here. Yeah. So whereas if you go a shorter direction there, you just want to go. Your hands just go straight down there. Okay. Oh. There we go. That's yeah. close. I kind of wet myself a little bit. Yeah. But we caught it, bro. That's, to be honest, this is pretty good. <laughs> Nathan's like, that was shit. Um, <laughs> All right. So. What would you, you rate, what would you rate that I as a first time catcher? Really Lisa? good. Is that good? People, uh, yeah, a lot of people wouldn't even catch it first. Is like it? That. Yeah. This is legit the first time so I'm trying this. I would practice going into so smooth, toe man. catch. Toe catch. All right. So we're just 
You can, if it's easier for now, you can do one foot, but it's better to practice both because both otherwise you might get, to be honest, you end up a bit stuck in a situation where you can only catch it on one on, foot. On, yeah, I got you. Whereas you want to make sure the rope is, if you can toe catch it in both, it's mm -hmm. gonna, you, you'll clear it if you jump to it. So that's my toes. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll give it a go. No promises. All right, three, two. It's pretty good though, to be, to be honest. I mean, I feel booky as hell. I reckon lie. almost, if you would try to jump that, you might get it because... Should get a little jumping. Sometimes. <laughs> I don't even know where you start with it. So we'll, you just do like a normal... I'll tell you what, this rope feels good, man. I'll make some good ropes, you know, Lauren. <laughs> feels really nice, man. All right, let's try this. Is that Rashi talking about beaded rope? I mean, it's only because it's mine, so I'm a little bit biased. So. <laughs> of course, I'm going to say it's good. My rope 2.0, guys, man. Special edition, coming. <laughs> oh, that was bad, Lawrence. That wasn't... That was rubbish. That was not so, even the timing. I couldn't even tell you what went wrong there. Cause it, was so it, was just so, it was so rubbish, wasn't it? That's I'm trying to just... I let think me do it slowly. You, you didn't rotate. You just let the rope move on its own. No, it comes out too, like, out here. Why is that? Yes, the way to think of it is... You know how... So when you're jumping, yeah. obviously, one, two, you've got the rotations every time the uh-huh let's say jumps right yeah. so when you a bit oh, like when you do a side swing yeah. and how you jump a side swing to yeah. keep it smooth and involved yeah when you go into the release when you let go that is a jump as well yes yeah, so it's in that motion so it's actually it's two jumps whilst you do the release we caught a few i'll tell you what let's not embarrass myself anymore oh. I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna let you do a little bit of freestyle with your, with your releases. Mm -hmm. What would you rate me, by the way, out of 10? First time? I'd say for first time, that was a four? good... Four? No, for first, actually... Have, you, s have like, you seen people try it for the first time, like, in person? Yeah, and no, it's ever... very unusual. I think you've been practicing. Maybe you hear that? That's how good I am. <laughs> I don't... I can just pull it out. Never or you've got a good coach. Oh, yeah, to be fair. <laughs> I like the way you switched that up. It wasn't nothing to do with all your really skillful, <laughs> or, like, you might be good at skipping. It was just like, yeah. <laughs> No, no, it's cool. I mean, what do you think? Five out of ten? I it's think like if seven I was to... or eight out of ten. No, nah, for, for a first time. time. As in not... It's not hard, bro. Compared, you come and compared try to, this, bro. to other people, <laughs> if we lined you up against other people yeah. who tried it for the first time, yeah, that's like that. good. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I did catch it, guys, man. Come on. Give the guy a break. Yeah. Um, all right, I'll tell you what. Uh, we, this video is long enough for sure, but I think it needs to be in detail. So, mm -hmm. quick tips quickly, just so you know, like, so, the best point. Short rope if possible. Yep. Beaded rope. Um, make sure you... You, you return, the biggest mistake people make is not returning this ha their hand to their side. Uh -huh. So the hand that's doing the rotating needs to come back here. And that in turn brings the handle to your hand. Smooth. And um, just that, that, re that was a really good tip. Stirring yeah. the pot. Yeah. That actually got me some sort of success. Um, would you like to take it away? Add a bit of flair, spice yeah. to your releases? I can see, do. Shall them... I do some variations? Yeah, I might them, mess up though. Show them what's possible. Yeah, we can, we can always cut that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we'll make sure okay. we get it right. Lovely. Oh, wow. Uh, Lauren Junk's people in the building, out the building even. <laughs> Wicked. All right, you know what? You're phenomenal. That was a one take, one take. No cuts need. That was unreal. That was unreal. I don't believe that. No, that was, that was. I don't believe it. Pure magic, pure magic. You're unreal. Um, Thank you. Hopefully, you guys got some value out of that. I know it's quite a long video, it's going to be a long one, but. If you're into your releases, I'm sure you'll have stuck around till now. So give this video a big like, drop Lauren uh, some love in the comments. Um, thank you for coming down. Thanks for having me. I think, uh, I think I won't be practicing, but at least you've given me the tips and you've given these guys the tips. Um, and at least I wasn't like as shit as I thought I was going to be. <laughs> no, was, you did she, good. She was kind. Seven out of ten. I'd take that. Yeah. I'd take that. Um, people, remember, give us a subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more fire content as always, man. So take care of yourself. Skip the channel. Stay safe. Want to say bye? Yep. See you later, guys. Ciao. Was the knight in shining armor in your movie? Would put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now.